Hey guys, welcome to a new figure review. We're doing another McFarlane Toys video, but not a, it's a DC one, McFarlane Toys, but it's not DC Multiverse, and it's not um, DC Direct, I think, if you're doing the new DC figure series, I think. But this is a different one line he's doing. Well, I'm kind of surprised she didn't just make this part of the DC Multiverse line, but also DC, I don't know. But it's the Batman Classic TV series, one of the classic Batman TV series. I found it really cheap for like five bucks. It's the Riddler. Like, why not? Five bucks. These figures are uh, done like nice quality. They have that time like one single quality to them. They feel a little bit smaller uh, compared to like a regular figure. Let's get a like regular figure just to compare. I haven't opened these yet, but if you look at the figures, definitely Riddler looks a little smaller. These figures do look a little smaller than these, but that's fine because these are like the only specific thing. I also do like how they have these little thinking upon their face, see like the punch, pow, all that stuff in the classic Batman series. And this is cool. Another cool figure. It's cool. It's a fantastic collection, so let's jump into it. Okay, so let's look at the regular figure. First, we're going to look at two accessories. We have these two little accessories. This one that says Wham! And on the back, it's just red. It doesn't look like sound effects because you know the old Batman stick the sixth show had a lot of these sound effects and stuff pop up on screen. It has this little thing here where it attached his arm. We'll show you that when we actually show the figure because it easily just attaches on. I already tried it, already attaches on. But also came with an ouch as well. So, get a little invisible screen, red. Do you like normal nice things? These come with these figures. You have different ones. Come with these different figures. These are nice. Thank little things. Then we have the actual figure we'll take a look at here. We have the Riddler. This is what he looks like. Pretty solid. This is a pretty basic figure, so it's hard when the figure is like, there's not a lot of stuff to it. I feel like the like, character has a very basic like palette or like not much to it. He has the question mark on the side, obviously, because the Riddler from the uh, 66 show, Max face, looks good. Look like definitely how I remember him too in the show. He has the qualities. This is quality is good as McFarlane like toys, so you know the quality is always good with these. Uh, McFarlane toys, his head does go all the way around. Uh, he has. Uh, would you guys a quick? Can we do a quick test? This is the one where the head goes all the way around, or does it not? No, the head does go all the way around, so that's good. Test it. Then we have the uh, pink, uh, purple gloves and the purple like belt. I guess whatever you want to call it. His arm move had decent points of articulation. Not like as many as the uh, DC Multiverse figures, but. This can go all around like this, so it has decent points of articulation. Just gotta be careful with the points of articulation and figure out how you, how it goes and everything. And yeah, I'm gonna try to put this back. It goes down like that. Yeah, so both his arms, the back, there's nothing to it, just a plain color. And then for the legs, uh, we have the belt, like I said, here. Body, I think, moves a little over here. I don't know if it goes all the way around. We can try it. It might move all the way around, I'm not sure, but yeah. I want to do it and break it, so that's why we're not going to try it. But his legs move, have points of articulation. Uh, he has like these brown, like, uh, not brown, I mean, green, like darker green, like, looks like he's wearing shorts. Then he has tights, what have the question marks all on the side. And he has little, like, shoes, what have these, uh, like, almost like elves' shoes, not elves, I don't know if they're elves' shoes, but you know what I mean. Type of shoes, like these type of sh shoes. But yeah. Nice, and he has points of articulation in the leg. I like here, the points of articulation in this one. It just feels a little like, you can hear it, right? I just hit the camera, but you can hear that, right? You have a little like, can do it, so it's a little more stiff. But see, this part of the leg, this kick fine. And that's the only point of articulation he has, those two points, the one in here, and the one here, and then the feet just have nothing on them. And the bottom has like all the, uh, I think, stuff about it, you know. In the back, there's nothing much to it. Yeah, pretty simple figure. Uh, like I said, I like him. He's a simple figure, but McFarlane toys make good toys. And this is a simple one. This is not part of the DC Multiverse line, so it is a little different. So it's not expecting as big quality. These are like probably cheaper, maybe little figures. But yeah, this is nice. It might be cheaper. I forget how much these actually are. But it's not a bad figure. But also gonna sell these chassis. We're gonna just slap. You can easily just slap on. Probably gonna. I don't know. Hold on. See, you just slap it on like that. Ouch. And boom. Ouch. Ouch. Like ouch. And then if we do the other side, we can put, I don't know if I'm going to cut both of these on. I feel like I kind of want to, because it makes them specific, but. And we have Wham, so we're going to have Wham, ouch. Looks kind of cool with having them on there, like that, like having them. I don't know, it looks kind of cool. So yeah, that's a figure. It doesn't come with a stand or anything. He does have pegs to put him in a stand, so if you want to get a stand for him, you can. Find that fits him, because sometimes certain figures do not work as in stands. But, it's a cool figure. So what do you guys think of the, um, whatchamacallit, the, uh, What's his name? The uh, Riddler! The Riddler 66 figure. We're just gonna do the outfit here. Cause I'm like, yeah, this is a good place to do it. We have a good shout the figure. So what do you guys think of the Riddler 66 figure? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the figure? He looks, he's nice. He's a nice figure. 
I like him. He's a cool figure. I think with Hunter Toys makes some good toys. That's why I collect the DC Mortal Hunt. Also, I love comic books. If I'm into comic books, so I like to have figures based on the con all the con with characters from the comics I read and all the stuff is great. Only if I'm calling Toy Man and figure. Didn't even bit this. But yeah, this is a cool figure nonetheless. Really happy to get this. Thank you guys for watching. You guys can always stay up and see you next week, guys. Bye.